Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and in this video we're going to be doing June's full face of first impressions. Um, I'm actually doing two this month so this is the first one. Yeah, once again I brought a lot of makeup and that's why we're doing two. I've got a bit of a problem. I just, I see things and I want them and I buy them so there you go. Um, so the first thing I'm going to try out is the Bourjois Blair the Lines Primer. Uh, it's just this cute little ditty pot, and let's see if I can, there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know why I wanted this, but I wanted it. <laughs> uh, I really don't need more primers, but I brought one anyway. It's kind of just like a kind of smooth sort of balm kind of thing. Oh, it feels really nice. Um, oh god, that feels so good. Uh, I am going to do my eyes first, but I thought I'd just put this on anyway, and... I uh, just, I won't put any on my eyelids. Oh my god, it feels so good. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna go ahead with this. I think this is meant to be more of kind of like a pore filling primer. Um, yeah, it's definitely got that kind of feel and consistency to it. Obviously, it's not like an illuminating one or anything. Oh my god. Ugh, that's so good. What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Okay, well that feels incredibly soft. That's just overall a very nice face experience. Um, has it reduced my pores? I don't know, I can still kind of see a lot of pores in my pore areas, but I feel like my face does look a, look a little bit, my face does look a bit more like smooth though. So yeah, I quite like it. I mean, it feels amazing. I need to stop touching my face now. Um, so I think off camera I'm just going to quickly do a concealer and powder base on my eyes and then we'll move on to the eyeshadow I've got to try out. The eyeshadow that I've got to use is the Tammy X Revolution Tropical Paradise Palette from Makeup Revolution which is now just Revolution. Uh, the packaging on this is beautiful but it's kind of saddening because I will just have to throw this away. Um, so I started watching Tammy like I don't know, like three or four months ago. I think I did find her through the um, Revolution channel. I've really been into her content lately, so obviously, when she had a palette out, I had to try it. And I love like the packaging, like how it's like a, oh look, there you go, you can see my camera. I like how it's like a mirror kind of thing going on. And uh, you have got this thing with all the shade names, but I'm probably just gonna throw that away because I've not got time for that in my life. But this palette actually looks gorgeous like it looks absolutely stunning um, and the nice giant mirror is really handy as well it looks beautiful and I want to do something a bit like colorful and creative today but I don't know where to start because there's just so many colors in here and oh my god I think I'll probably do like a cut crease or a halo eye or something I don't know but we're gonna be extra today right I'm gonna start with this shade right at the bottom it's kind of like a warm kind of transition shade gonna start that one we're just gonna start basic and then build into craziness I think well as you can see that is incredibly pigmented so far so good I think I'm gonna go in with this glimmery red color this one here and also at this through the crease and it has like eyeshadow <coughs> I know there's like eyeshadow rules where you can't put like glimmers through the crease and I just don't care like let me do what I want okay if I want to put glimmers through the crease I will yeah I think I'm just gonna work that kind of like you know like near the bottom area of where I've already put that color so it's kind of blending into it oh my god I don't know I shouldn't be allowed to talk because I don't know what I'm saying I actually think that worked really well for the crease. I'm very impressed so far. I'm just gonna clean up this edge a bit. <laughs> There's this glimmery green color that I'm really liking the look of and I kind of think I wanna use that in like a cut crease or something. So I'm just gonna get a um, concealer. Uh, this isn't a new one. I think I'm just gonna use this next one and just carve out a cut crease. I might just do that off camera and then we'll carry on with some more shades. Okay, so we've got our cut crease going. Now let's put some eyeshadow onto it. So I'm gonna go in with that um, same glimmery green shade that I mentioned. I think I'm just gonna place this 
all over. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Just using a little brush to kind of do near the edge and then I'll probably go in with my finger for the rest. Okay, as you can see, that colour is absolutely stunning. It's got so much pigment, such a rich colour. Uh, incredibly easy to use. Um, great. Obviously Fallout, but I would expect that with like even the best eyeshadow. So Fallout has never been an issue for me. And it's not even like that much compared to um, some eyeshadows. Especially when they're like quite dark colours. They tend to just be like 10 times worse than this. I think I'm actually going to try and go in with the glimmery purple shade this one here and i'm gonna kind of use this sort of smudgy brush and kind of try and place it like you know in the line when the cut creases um i don't know i just want to try this out i might ruin this eyeshadow but you know the whole point of these videos is just to test things out so yeah i'm just gonna place this kind of like in well the cut crease part you know Ooh, no that look actually we might be under something here. No disappointing shades so far. Another very pigmented colour. Okay, this might not show up as well just because I've already gone in with that dark green, but I think I am gonna go in with this like bright gold, yellowy gold tone colour and just place like a little a little bit just on the centre of my eyes, um, again I've already gone on with that green so it might not show up as well but we're gonna try it out anyway. Yeah it's more kind of like meshing into the green which is fine though because that actually looks quite nice. What I really should have done is just left a gap in that middle bit but you know you live and you learn. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this glimmery white shade here and I'm just gonna run that one under my brow bone. I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of dark, like kind of purpley plum maroon-ish colour and I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that into the outer corner and then I think we might end it there. I think I'm going to leave the eyeshadow at that. Obviously we'll try out some more shades when we get to the lower lash line part. Um, but let me just give you a closer look. I have to say I am incredibly blown away by this eyeshadow palette. It's so pigmented. The colours are amazing. I am just so impressed. I just think that we're onto a winner here. This is, this is great. There's just so many good colours. And I just feel like there's so many looks you could do with this. And I actually think this eyeshadow has turned out pretty good. Um, which is saying something because I'm not the best at eyeshadow, sometimes it just ends up looking a mess with me but actually I'm quite happy with this eye look. Um, yeah, Tammy's done an amazing job here, this is awesome, this might be controversial but I think I like it a little bit more than the Soph one. This one's just a little bit more dynamic I feel. Okay, so I'm going to try out some liner for my waterlines now and I got this is, <laughs> I got something from I Heart Revolution, and this is the multi liner. Uh, it's one lip and three eye retractable liners, and it's basically like styled like one of those pens where you push down like four different things. And I thought that was like so awesome. <laughs> that sounds like such a good idea, and it is like so cute. It's like a pen, but it's an eyeliner, and you get like a um, so you get a brown eyeliner, a black eyeliner, a nude eyeliner, and then there's like a kind of pinky nude kind of lip liner. So basically it's everything that you need. Um, obviously I'm going to go with the black one today. Uh, I could use the nude, but I don't know, I don't really use nude liners in my waterline very often. It's kind of more of an occasional thing for me. Obviously I'm going to try out the black one, and you do have to kind of like twist it a bit to kind of get product to come up, but you do get there eventually. Um, so I'm going to go in with the black one and just pop this on my top and bottom more lines. So weird, it feels like I'm drawing in my eye with a pen. That's done a pretty standard job, just done what I want it to do. Give me some drama in the war lines. I mean like I could use a brown but I'm just worried that I'm going to ruin the eyeshadow if I do that so 
I think I'll just leave it at that for now. So for mascara, I've got two things to try out. I've got the Gosh Fake It Lash Primer. And this is in 001 Grey. So I mean, like, normally you get, like, white lash primers. But this one's, like, actually a sort of grey colour. Which I thought was interesting. And then I also got another Gosh Mascara. This is just a standard black one. This is called My Favourite Mascara. And it's got a nice kind of chunky wand. I actually quite like the look of that wand. So we'll try out the lash primer first. Then I've never used a grey lash primer. Um, I haven't even used a lot of white ones to be honest. But let's just coat our lashes with this and see what it does. Oh, you can actually like really see the grey there. Well, that's definitely made my lashes grey. So let's see if that adds anything extra. Um, so we're gonna go in with my favorite mascara now. It's not actually my favorite mascara, that's just what the mascara is called. But who knows, maybe it will be my favorite mascara. I've built up quite a reasonable amount of that and I'm not too blown away to be honest, like, it's not giving me the volume that I look for. And obviously that's a primer and a mascara there. Um, I feel like, again, it could be a sort of thing that gets better the more I kind of, you know, play around with them and the product dries out a bit. Um, but on first impression, like, it's done an okay job, um, but it's just not the ideal look that I look for for my lashes. I feel like Gosh is a bit hit and miss with their mascaras. I feel like I've tried some really good ones from them and then some kind of a bit average ones um so this might fall in the average category that's our eyes done for now so we'll move on let's get the camera in the right place um to some base products now obviously i've already used some of that primer so i guess it's just foundation time now so for foundation i got the ex1 in vz wear liquid foundation and i got mine in shade 1.0 obviously the lightest one uh, it does look quite pale and yellow tone, which is good, but it might be a tiny bit dark, but that is okay because I've also got a white mixer to try out. Um, I got the Revolution Pro Foundation Mixer Lightening, which comes in this nice little sleek bottle and it's got a pipette. So um, I'm just going to double check with the colour, see if it is getawayable with first. I mean, the colour's definitely not like too bad, it's just like, I would say, like a tiny bit dark but I feel like the undertones are definitely more on the yellowy side which is good for me because yeah my face looks blotchy but believe me when I tell you I am actually more neutral to yellow and um, I think I will go in with a little bit of this um, Revolution Pro white mixer though just gonna give that a shake and mix them in with what I've got on the back of my hand this one does have a little bit of a pinky tone to it uh, the pipette's not particularly great on this I am just kind of scraping product my tip a bit okay so i think we've got a better color going on there um so let's try this foundation out all over our face so i've had a lot of things about this foundation um i've heard that it's pretty good i don't think it's meant to be like full coverage or anything like that but that's okay because generally i do prefer foundations to be kind of more medium although don't get me wrong i do love a bit of full coverage every now and then i've got these like spots like here around my mouth and they're probably not going to cover because they're little bitches, basically. I've got like a spot on my ear as well, and it's really irritating. Like, what? Who gets spots on their ears? What is the point of that? Okay, so I've built up a decent amount of that foundation, and I have to say, I am quite liking it. I think it's sitting on my skin nice. It's got it's pretty good coverage actually. Definitely not like super full coverage. Obviously there's a lot of things I can see. Like this guy here, which you might not be able to see, but I can see in person. But I would say the coverage is pretty good. Definitely like high medium. And to go with that foundation, I also got the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer in 1.0. And I got this one off feelunique.com. Um, I can't open it now. This one's definitely like super yellow toned, but it is quite pale and it's like a squeezy tube. I thought it was going to be like a doe foot, but it's actually a squeezy tube. And the colour's definitely very 
pale and yellow again I feel like maybe slightly dark I don't know uh, possibly I could get away with that color though um, I don't know actually Ooh. that color is actually a little bit darker than what I thought it would be but we've already put it on now so we're just gonna go with it <laughs> to pop this in any areas where I want a bit more coverage. Okay, actually the colour's not too bad once it's blended into the skin, it kind of just adapts into the product that's already there. And I would say that's actually given pretty good coverage. Again, it's not like super full coverage, but um, I think it's sitting really well under my eyes. Um, it has reduced the sky a little bit, but you can still see him, but I wasn't expecting anything to cover that, but definitely reduced a lot of the like redness going on there. Um, overall, I would say base products are pretty good. Again, if I did want to lighten this, I have got um, like white concealers, so it's not too much of an issue if it is a tiny bit dark, but I think it kind of does mesh into the kind of the product that you've got underneath anyway, so. So I've got two powders to try out. I've got a loose one and a pressed one. First one is the e.l.f. HD powder, and this is obviously the loose one. And then the other powder I got is from a brand called Isadora, and it's the matte fixing powder, transparent. It also says it's a blotting powder on the back, and this one um, was off of Feel Unique. Again, it's just a standard white translucent pressed powder. I think I might um, use the e.l.f. one under my eyes and then um, the other one Isadora on the rest of my face. I think I might not actually bake because I feel like baking doesn't really work very well with me. Um, I think I'll just use my um, little kind of, this is a brush that I just used to um, set my under eyes. I don't know, it works but I do need some more brushes but I'm going to just make sure I've gotten off any excess first. So far I've managed to tap a bit into the lid and it's not gone everywhere so better than most <laughs> loose powders just so far because of that. Yeah, so I'm just going to dip my brush into it and kind of set my under eyes. Obviously I'm going to tap out the creases first. I don't know, I just feel like baking doesn't really work particularly well for me. It just looks really like cakey and heavy every time I do it. Maybe I just haven't mastered the technique or whatever. Okay, actually I think that's done a pretty good job, doesn't look super like dry and cakey like all powders are doing to me lately, um, and it's not made a huge mess like most loose powders do, so actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't look super duper flawless or anything like that, but it set it down and not made me look a mess, so winning. I'm going to use a flat top brush, May I really need to invest in some more powder brushes, I just, I need recommendations, I don't know. So I'm just going to go in with this powder, ooh it's super like, slippery almost, it's so like velvety. Uh, let's just set down the rest of our face. Yeah, I would say that's done a pretty decent job, I don't know why, mm, no, it's set. I don't know, I feel like there are some patches that don't feel set. Is this me? Like, I do feel like I'm, like, having to dig my brush in here quite a lot to actually get, like, product out. It's a bit weird. I do feel like you do have to build this powder up a bit just to be matte, but I would say it does have a pretty nice finish. So, yeah, I like it. Okay, so for bronzer, I got the Rimmel Radiance Brick. And mine's in the shade 001 light. I don't know why I thought this was just gonna be like one whole colour. Like I don't I don't even know why I thought that. Um, but it's actually like a load of different colours, but I'm guessing obviously you'd swirl them all around and make one colour, which is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop a bit of this in a meat cheek area. It's not a hair on my face. No. This one isn't like super duper pigmented. I am finding that I'm having to build it up quite a lot. Um, but it definitely has given a nice bit of like glowy sun kissed sun <laughs> to the face. Perhaps needs a bit of working with, but 
yeah actually it's given a nice little bit of warmth and glue so yeah that's all right it's all right uh, I didn't get a blush but I do have like too many highlighters to try out because I just really like buying highlighters okay um, the first one I got is from Revolution Pro and this is the Supreme Highlighter Ice and I'm really excited to try this one because I've swatched them and they have like the most smoothest like kind of buttery texture which you don't often get with like kind of like more affordable highlights um, these ones have such a nice texture and they're super pigmented as well and I really like these kind of like icy colours because I'm all about the iciness um, but yeah, excited to try this. I also got another one of the Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighters. This one's Frozen Kiss and it's like a kind of silvery one. I have tried a few of the other shades of this and quite liked them. But this colour looks beautiful. I really like silver highlighters. I don't know why, but I just gravitate towards silver highlighters a lot. The one that I got, I'm a little bit like confused by. Like I'm not sure. I kind of regret buying this because I'm not sure about the shades. Um, this is Mermaid Heart Highlighter for your face and eyes from I Heart Revolution. I think that's what it's called, I Heart Makeup, I don't know. The packaging is super cute. But like, yeah, so you've got all these different shades and I'm just not sure if this is really going to work for my skin tone very well. Just because the colours are all quite intense and like, if you kind of swirl them, you kind of just get like kind of a patches of all the colours, but like, not like mixed together, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know about this, but it is pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the uh, trio first. Like, I don't know what shade I wanna use because they're all so pretty. And, uh... Right, I'm gonna go in with this kind of like, sort of bluey, sort of lavendery. I don't even know. I think it's more blue than it is lavender, but I'm gonna go in with that shade first and I'm gonna just do that on one cheek. Ah! Uh, super pigmented. I mean, that is like incredibly intense. Um, I feel like it maybe looks a little bit patchy just in this bit here, but I'm finding that with a lot of highlights lately. That could be because of the products underneath though. Because I do find that like with some powders, um, highlighters don't always show up as well on them. I'm going to go in with the Ice Kiss Silver one on the other side. So let me just get off any highlighter off my brush first. We'll use this one on the other side. This one's definitely very glittery. I mean, that is super intense. I feel like a lot of people complain about highlighters being quite glittery, but I personally don't have much of an issue with it, to be honest. Like, aren't they meant to kind of be glittery? I don't know. Again, I feel like I've just got this, like, patch, like, here. Like, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like that, and I'm just going crazy where it's not sticking to. But if anything, I feel like that's the product underneath. I mean, that's stunning. Very pigmented. Super pretty. And I don't mind a bit of glitter personally, so you know. I don't even know if I want to use this one because I feel like it's just going to look weird. I feel like maybe if I concentrate it towards the more kind of bluey toned colours, it might work alright. I don't know. I'm going to, I will go in with it. Um, I'm just going to try and put, go for the more like bluey, greeny kind of colours. Oh my god, look! <laughs> what is this? Um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose, Cupid's bow and chin. Well, it's, we're going for a very blue look. I mean, like, the pig one is there. I just feel like this is maybe a little bit too blue. I don't know. I feel like this could work on some skin tones. Like, I feel like maybe darker skin tones this would look, like, super awesome on. But maybe for me, it's just a bit too much. But pigmented. I think maybe with a bit of a blend it could work. I look like I've eaten, like, a bubblegum ice cream or something. Uh, we'll go back to the trio and try a different shade. I'll go in with the middle one, which is kind of like a sort of more like kind of champagne-y colour, but obviously it's super pale as well. Uh, I'll go in with that one and just put a little bit of that on my forehead slash temple kind of area. Just up here. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that one is definitely very nice. Right, I'm just going to... Um, tap it out a little bit i would say that that's there's some pretty good highlighters there um i'd probably want to try them with some different base products on underneath but definitely got the pigment going i'm gonna go on to brows now and i got a product from isla this is the brow magician in number 10 dark and it's a crown and a tinted 
fixer gel duo so you've got like a pencil on one end it's kind of one of those angular ones it's a very like dark brown color i think the color is okay and then you've got a gel on the other end and that's a little brush i do prefer like quite smaller brushes but we will give this a go i'm just going to brush through my brows with a clear gel quickly before we use that Right, so we'll go in with the pencil first and just fill in our brows. Okay, that is our brows filled in. Obviously this doesn't have a spoolie or anything, so I'm just going to find a random spoolie and just brush through that pencil a little bit. Okay, so I would say that's done a pretty good job. It's filled in my brows. Colour's not too bad. Um, so we'll go in with the other end, the gel, and set those into place. Okay, that's set the brows. I do feel like they look a little bit harsh and blocky, but that's probably just me. You just need a bit of practice, I think. But I think this is actually a pretty good brow product. I just think maybe very easy to go a bit overboard, but you know, it's okay. It will look fine once the rest of my makeup's done, I'm sure. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to the eyes and finish off our lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with the glimmery red that I used earlier, and I'm just going to pack a bit of this on the lower lash line to start with. Now I'm going to go in with this blue colour and I've just nailed it, of course, because I always do that. Um, and put that in closer to the lash line area. Let's go with this bright glimmery pink down here. Why not? Let's put that in the inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the lash primer and the mascara on my bottom lashes and I might try and build it up a bit on the top. I've got two lip products to try out. I've got a Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick in the shade Rebellious and this is a bullet lip and it is just like a sort of like pinky nude colour, the sort of thing I'd use on a more everyday kind of basis. I got one of the Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigments and this one's in the shade Facade. This was kind of like an orangey nude sort of colour. It's a bit of a weird, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I picked out this colour. That's it there. But we're going to try it out anyway. I also want to try out the lip liner in this um, pen, pencil, whatever the hell it's called, multi-liner. Yeah, I'm going to try out the lip liner. It is just like a really kind of like nudey pink colour. Gonna try this out first. I don't know if it's my lips that are dry or if it's the lip liner that's dry. I think it might be my lips, but I mean, it's just a pretty nude. I mean, it's done an alright job. I'm with the bullet lip first just because it's easier to put this in first and then a liquid lip on top. I know I'm gonna have like 50 layers of lip products here, but you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's go in with this first. That is super cute. I would definitely put this into my uh, jacket pocket and wear this for work on the regular because that is definitely a nice nudie colour. Very easy to apply. It feels quite matte. It's not a super like creamy uh, lipstick, which I actually do prefer it to be matte, so that's a good thing for me. Um, but yeah, I really like that. That's super cute. So we may as well try out the lip pigment as well and have 20 layers on our lips. I'm still not really sure about this colour, I kind of regret picking it out, but no, we won't speak too soon, let's try it. Actually that colour's not as bad as I thought, but I still don't know if it really is the best for my skin tone, I don't know actually, I can't tell. Uh, probably doesn't go with the eyes at all, but you know, 
And they just layer up a little bit more. I was actually watching Tammy's video yesterday where she um, swatched all these and she said that um, these do dry down matte but they take like a really long time to do it so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait that one out and see if it does but I mean it's actually not that bad. I don't know I'm just not sure if this is my colour. I would say that I definitely prefer the um, the bullet lip. I have got another one of these to try in my next first impression so we'll see about that. That one's a bit more of a dramatic colour but I don't know. I think maybe with a different eye look this could work but I don't know. I don't think this is my colour. So uh, that's everything tried, just going to polish up my appearance and get back to you. Lips definitely still feeling moist but I feel like it's starting to settle down a bit. Yes, this is the finished makeup look and I think it's actually turned out alright in the end. So I'm just going to talk you through my favourite products before I sign it off. Uh, hands down, my favourite thing that I've tried today is definitely the Tami X Revolution Tropical Paradise Palette. I think she's done an amazing job here. This is awesome. I'm actually really happy with how my eye look turned out. Uh, there's just so much to play with here. The colours are so vibrant and dynamic. And they're all really pigmented. Blended really well. Uh, nothing bad to say about this palette. I think it's amazing. And it's going to become a new essential for me. I really like the foundation and the concealer from EX1. I just quite like the level of coverage that it gave. Not full, but quite a high medium, which is kind of like my preference, really. Uh, the colour, with the white mixer anyway, um, the colour was pretty good. Sat on the skin really nicely. I just really like how these two looked on I really like the um, Skin Kiss Frozen Kiss highlighter. The silvery one. Oh no, now it's on the floor. And I also really love this little trio, the Supreme Highlighter Ice. Just really like these super pigmented, nice texture, awesome colours. I just, I just really like it. And also for a favourite, I would say this Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick in Rebellious. This is going to go straight into my pocket because this is an everyday shade. I would say most of the other products I do quite like, they're not quite favourites, but they're pretty good. The only product really that I'd say was a bit disappointing was the um, Gosh Fake It Lash Primer and the My Favourite Mascara. I just, I don't know, I was just expecting a bit more volume, a bit more drama from these, but I will give them another shot. And I'll also try out the Lash Primer like underneath some different mascaras and see if it adds anything extra to those, but... I have not given up on these, but these were probably just my most disappointing things of this video. But everything else, if I haven't mentioned it, was good, but not amazing. So that's it for this first impression, and let's hope it actually goes up in June, because that would be helpful. Um, I have got another first impressions, which I'll probably film tomorrow, and I'm also going to be doing a video where I test out some of CYO makeup. And I'm also going to do a full face of Makeup Revolution very soon. It's not Makeup Revolution, it's Revolution now. Um, but yeah, lots coming up. And hopefully I can actually edit my videos. It's a long story. Basically, I'm just working too damn much and I'm very stressed and my mental health is going downhill. But I don't want to get into that now. But anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.